<laughs> so that's what it would have been like if we'd been going to the NEC about this time. Yeah. This uh, last year we were going, and we'd normally be planning for what vans we're going to see. See, that's right. We'd arrived at Summerswood, and we normally spend the Monday having a look to see what vans we'd, we we want to see. And normally I would produce a list of right. the vans and what hall they're in and what stand they're on, so yeah. we could go and look at them. Yeah. I normally use Practical Motorhome and MMN to see what the new vans are. Yeah, I, I oft have to say I don't think there are a huge number of um, no. motorhomes, new motorhomes that are around. Um, a lot of the manufacturers, particularly Spanish and Italian manufacturing, has been on complete lockdown. Yeah. So yeah. I think they've they've struggled to actually produce anything that that's right. Anything yeah. Anything different. Yeah. But uh, some of the British manufacturers are in fact manufacturing. Yeah. So we're probably going to be talking mainly about British vans, um, and we'll mention a little bit about camper vans, but this is mainly about coach-built motorhomes. Yeah. So, so what have you got for me? So if we were going to go to the show, the main one I'd want to go and see is Auto Sleeper Stand, yeah. because it's their 60th anniversary, and they've got a new layout in the Broadway range. We always like the Broadway, don't okay. we? Yeah, they've got what's called a Broadway EL and okay. it's an it's a U shaped lounge at the back. So let's have a look at the Auto Sleeper Broadway EL. Yeah. So it's six point six meters long. Yeah. Um, it's two point three meters, which is seven foot seven inches wide, and they say that's three inches wider than normal. Okay. So they've got uh, a bit more space at the back there. Yeah. They've got a Rear lounge with this one, isn't That's it? That's right. Yeah, end looks, lounge, EL. Yeah, it looks really nice. Um, what they say is it's on a Peugeot Boxer 165 brake horsepower, Euro 6. Yeah. Has an MT PLM of 3,500. So it's license friendly. Yeah. And a payload of 329 kilograms. Okay, that's not huge. No. So they claim that the end lounge can be used as single beds or a huge double. So presumably they're saying that those sofas there are yeah. long enough to sleep on. But we obviously can't test that out ourselves. No. Um, what you can do though, you can add a Luton over cab. Okay. The Going front. Back a bit. So yeah. Up there somewhere. Up there instead of the instead sunroof, sunroof and all that. Yeah. You can add a, a Luton front and have an extra double bed up the top there. Yeah. Okay, this one's fitted with an air conditioning unit. That's it, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Um, so that's that's the fridge. I mean, that looks very nice, doesn't it? Yeah, it's the got kitchen. A kitchen side dinette. Uh, sorry, kitchens on the side and a bathroom on that side. Yeah. So the the kitchen. If we've got so, a few things about that. Okay, so we can get get back to the kitchen. Yeah. So there's there the fridge. Are. There's the kitchen, right? Yeah. yeah the it's a cooker with a separate grill and four and dual fuel hot plates, there's four of them, Yeah. got an extractor fan, a sink, six drawers and an overhead cupboard and one below Yeah. and a microwave. So okay, it's quite a well equipped kitchen. Microwaves up there. And while we're there, yeah. can you find the bathroom? I'll give it a go. So the washroom. Yeah. That's, that's, the, the, rear, that's the, bed. the rear bed. Come yeah. back to that, that's the lounge. Yeah. Yeah, the, the bathroom. Um, I've had it again. Washroom is a swing <laughs> wall one, right. which like we had in the Starfire. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and there's three drain holes, it says. Okay. You can't actually see those. I mean, if they're making a thing about drain holes, it'd be nice to see the extra yeah, drain holes. Yeah, it would. Yeah. We could see it. In its <laughs> but the great thing about this is the swing wall. Yeah. And we used yeah. to think that was brilliant. Didn't well, we? it, 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 you've got a t it's a tiny space there. I mean, the photo looks tiny. Yeah. But if you've got that swing wall, that, that makes your shower up. Mm. putting that closed and uh, protects the toilet and obviously the cupboard up there. The swing walls are a great idea if you've got a small bathroom, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Okay. Yeah, so yeah, well, there, there it is. is. Yeah. 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 Now I only had to go to the next photo. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Should have got Poppy to help me with this. Yeah, so that's it in its closed position and it closes, which way does it, oh no, it'd be that way, wouldn't it? Yeah. So that will come out there and close there and then you've got that area there and I notice it's got a separate shower rather than having it built into the tap thing yeah so that's, that's even better in it than yeah. what we had yeah yeah oh that's good it looks, that's looks good. really nice yeah we're, we're big fans of auto sleepers vans aren't we we're, we when we went to the national 
was it? No, it wasn't National. It was the Yorkshire show, wasn't it, last year? Uh, sort no, of Peterborough show. Oh, was it the Peterborough the, show? The new, new Evo you're talking about. Yeah, sort yeah of, that was at Peterborough. Sort of yeah. fell in love with it, really. Yeah. If you were going for a smaller van, that would be the van. That would be the one. Yeah, um, the only other thing I've got about it is it says the storage, and yeah. hold it on that photo for a minute. Okay. Only one sofa provides storage for bedding. I say, so you've got heating or something under Yeah, one you've got, it says you've got all the electrics and all of yeah. that. It says, it. I mean, that's more of an issue if you're making up a bed, isn't it? Because you want to put the bedding somewhere. Yeah, I'd specify it with the overlocker at the front, you know. Yeah, and then you could put the, yeah, put the, the stuff up there. there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Gives you that much more storage. The, you'd have one of these lockers if you were using a, a wastemaster or something like that. That would be taken up, wouldn't it? Yeah. Or if you put an awning in there. Well, where else do you put your bedding? You see, if you can, you don't put it under that sofa. I know. So yeah, yeah. interesting yeah. van. Yes, yeah. so, but it says the wardrobe is adequate for two, and I think that's okay. on the right hand side there. there. I don't know if we've got any pictures of the wardrobe. Sort of there, isn't it? Yeah, sort of there. But it, there are a lot of cupboards in that back one, and they look quite roomy cupboards. Oh, Auto Trail always put a lot of cupboards mm. in their motor, don't they? Auto Sleeper. What did I? Oh, yeah. Auto <laughs> I'm doing this with Poppy <laughs> next time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Auto Trail always do a lot of cupboards in their vans, don't they? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and Auto Sleeper have done a lot of cupboards, cupboards in, in, this van. in this van, yeah. I might, I might edit that bit no, out. No, you won't. You'll leave it in. Now, the other thing to point out is yeah. that the table, you've got this it flap, I think it folds down. It folds down, it comes from that side down to there, so yeah. I, I could do my editing on, on that. Yes. But it's sort of resting on the kitchen top. I mean, the only comment I've got about that is, how do you get out once you've once you put all your laptop on there and all your gear and your cameras and you're charging them all up and you're sort of stuck in there, you'd be climbing out the side, wouldn't you? I suppose you could go out your your door couldn't you you could probably go out the, out the door and go <laughs> way back in nice yeah. idea but mm. yeah different different yeah so that that would be a van we definitely would want to go yeah. and say then i think we'd probably head to auto trail all right not auto sleeper then as soon as you've got them on the on your brain right. um and they apparently they're the first british manufacturer to launch an a-class van and they're calling it the Grand Frontier. The Grand? Yeah. Is this it here? Yeah, the Grand Frontier range. Three in the range. Yeah. There's uh, the GF70 N Lounge. Which is this one. Is it just a, a, is it an N, N Lounge? It says N Lounge. Okay, it doesn't look like an N Lounge to me, but there you go. Um, a GF80 yeah. And a GF88, which are both rear island beds. So they've got the island bed. This is the, the big one, the big E. Yeah. Okay. So that would be interesting. Yeah. And they claim there's two new trackers. Okay. I'll just stick with this one for a minute. So it's interesting, and this is the only British manufacturer doing an A-class motorhome. And they don't appear to have any pictures of the A-class front bit. Let's see if there's anything in here. No, that just says three of three wonder if this has actually been sort of released because that you know I'd like to see a picture of the front see what the front mm. looks like that doesn't look like an end lounger does it maybe well that, maybe, I mean, um, it's it was one of the <clears throat> see what what puzzled me when I looked at that was that one there is an end bathroom is an end bathroom so where's the end lounge yeah, maybe it's just a mistake in there I mean well, it was a bit more here that's yeah that's the island bed oh well, that's a picture of it yeah okay it's quite a beast isn't that yeah, it looks very handsome, doesn't it? I like the tap. There's you a, just bit, a bit of Burstner look about it. Mm. A tap. You like the tap? Yeah. Yeah. I've done it. I like the tap. Yeah. So they're hoping it. to be at the October show, but yeah. no, that was the October show last year. They, they were is. hoping to be. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, that's no, that's right. That's twenty twenty-one. Oh, was it? I did yeah. say twenty twenty-one. Yeah. 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 Okay. So yes, definitely, but. 140 brake horsepower engine? Come on. Yeah, it's a bit low, isn't it? Yeah. And it's presumably it's on a Fiat, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so that'd be interesting. So what was the other one you were saying about? There's two new trackers, apparently. Okay. So we'll go to the tracker range. And there's one called an RL okay. with a U-shaped U rear lounge. Is that the new one, then? Yeah. RL, so let's have a look. Seems to be making a bit of a comeback, the rear, rear lounge, doesn't it? Does, it does, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, similar idea, isn't it, with a side kitchen? And yeah. Yeah. There's a 
the layout. So yeah, yeah so the, the washroom yeah. is is behind the driver. Uh, is that your kitchen area? Or is this? Yeah, that's your kitchen area there, isn't it? And they they put the wardrobe up the front. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's nice. And then the other one they've got is an SB. Okay. Can I just finish looking at this? Yeah. Is that all right? Yeah. Ooh, oh, blimey, let me jump there. That's presumably that's their 3D thing, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, the only thing with this, having that right behind you, is that oh, it feels like it's right behind you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you mean, going along, you feel like there's a load of cupboards behind you. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. No, that's interesting. So you want me to look at the SB then? SB, yeah. This apparently has got fixed single beds. So EB, SB. So, well, this new as well? Yeah, this is new. Okay. So it looks a bit like ours, doesn't it? And layout at the front there. So, yeah. Sofa up front. But uh, So you've got a bed, make-up bed there, and twin beds at the back. Okay. A middle bathroom, yeah. Yeah, and a bathroom there, and kitchen there. Well, that's uh, interesting. Well, I don't see a bed there. Would you see a bed? Or is it? Oh, it's a makeup bed. Yeah. That's a makeup bed. Yeah, at so the I was front. thinking it's not. A, so it's not a drop-down bed, is it? No. Okay. So uh, let's have a look at the three hundred and sixty. What's upside down? Is it upside down? Go. <laughs> there we are in the bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> Arrived a bit suddenly, haven't we? Yeah. Oh, I'd love to be looking around these vans, you know, I it's know. crazy, isn't it? Yeah, so we, that's the shower, isn't it, there? Is it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, can you get in there? Can you fit in there? I'm getting good at these 360s. <laughs> yeah. Obviously, close the door off to the lounge. Yeah. Right, so, so now we want to have a look at the Baileys. Yeah, so I think we'd head for the Bailey stand because we want to look at the Adamo, don't we? Yeah, I'd love to look at this. I mean, it came out, was it last year? Yeah, towards the end of last year. Towards yeah, the end there of was last some year. Videos on it. It's on the Ford, it's an automatic. So for me, um, vehicle wise, it ticks a lot of boxes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but I uh, really would love to have a little look inside. Proper it's only look three in the range, aren't they? Yeah. Let's see if we can find the three. There we are. Yeah. So we've got the Adamo 69.4. Four, yeah. Which is a rear washroom. Yeah. We've got the 75.4i, which is an island bed. Island bed, yeah. Yeah. And then we've got the 75.4dl, which is an end lounge. Catchy names, isn't it? Yeah. But yeah, that's an end lounge, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. They seem to have a lot of drop-down beds, don't they? That yeah, th is th this in. this one uh, has two drop-down beds, doesn't it? Yeah, you make up the lounge bed, you make up a bed, yeah. you can drop a bed down above it. Yeah. Then in the back lounge, you can have a bed, and then you can have another drop-down bed. Yeah, okay. So, scroll to all models. All right, so some of them have got a garage. Yeah, yeah. Uh, reversing camera on them, alloy wheels. Right. So it says a fifty-seven to fifty-nine thousand, all three thousand five hundred kilograms. Payloads between four ten and three fifty-two. That's quite good, isn't it? It's not bad. It's yeah. not bad. Uh, Ford Transit chassis cab with a two-liter, one hundred and sixty brake horsepower engine, automatic gearbox. Ford Transit. Uh, skeletal chassis and the Alitec body habitation area. I think the one we'd be interested in is 69.4, isn't it? Really, yeah, that's better. I'm going to see the screen a bit better now. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so and what they yeah, seem on. to have as only have now is they've got the autograph range. And the Alliance only in the silver edition. Yeah, the SE. So they've yeah. done away with the Advance, and I think they've done away with the little 59 too. Yeah, which is a real shame. I quite like that, we like don't we? Yeah. 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 But that, you see, they've all got a garage, haven't they? Some have got a half garage. Yeah. And the, the big beast at the end has got a tall, narrower garage. Yeah, so ideal for your, your 
cricket bats. Yeah, that's right. Your golf bats. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So no, it's an interesting. Uh, it certainly would be time, be yeah. interested. I mean, uh, interested to know what you know what sort of things like blinds and cab blinds it's got. I wonder if there's a spec list on it somewhere. Uh, do, do, scroll to all models. So like a. Sorry, I keep scrolling up and down here, but I'm just trying to see if filter and compare. Do we have to actually click on one? Does that do anything? Uh, oh, here we go. All right. So you can download a brochure. Uh, births. Come here. And the ambassadors. Okay. Yeah, it's got curtains at the front. Oh, it's curtains, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So no cab blinds. No. Okay. Okay. Well, we were used to that. I didn't mind that, but it looks like they go across the seating area, or do they go behind? I think they go behind. Okay. Our one, as one, the ones we had did, didn't they? They went behind, the, or yeah. you could have, yeah, or push them in front of the seat, didn't we? Sometimes I can't remember yeah. really. Yeah. I mean, they're okay. They don't give you as much protection from the sun. No. You've got this fold-up table, haven't you? Yeah, the table right. looks quite clever. That's it, because it, it folds in half. And I, mm. when I saw this on the launch videos, this is one of the really good ideas that's come. I think Chawson did this. Yeah. They yeah. did a table that folds up. And this table then drops to make part of the bed. Mm. But the fact that it folds in half means you haven't got a great big table in the way of everything. Because most of the time, all you need is somewhere to put your coffee cups and your beer. That's right. <laughs> yeah. It looks a very sociable lounge, doesn't yeah. it? Which makes up into a bed. And these make into travel seats as well. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. 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 So, no, I mean, we'd, we'd love to sort of have, have a look a at proper this. Have a look at it, yeah. Yeah. See if we can see any more. It's a little flappy thing. Quite a good cooker, you see it's got a grill and, grill and an oven. Grill and oven, yeah. Not much preparation area unless no, you, you flap your flappy it thing rem up. It does remind me of the, the Alliance, not the Alliance, the Advance that we borrowed that had a very similar kitchen. Yeah, two steps up into the bedroom area. Yeah. One, two, and then you're quite a tall on that one. This is a 75-4i we're looking at here. Yeah, pretty big fridge. Big fridge, what sort of fridge is it? Is it an automatic energy selection fridge? Uh, it's a tall one. Well, it looks tall from this angle anyway. What's it say? It's a Thetford 142 combined tire refrigerator with freezer compartment. Okay. How do I get rid of it? <laughs> <laughs> Go away, fridge. <laughs> Right, we're stuck on the fridge. <laughs> I didn't see the cross there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You've got a um, nice um, door with a... Well, it's our door, isn't it, basically, with the window yeah. and the blind. Yeah. I mean, they're the making big um, thing about these being travel seats as well. Mm. But it does mean that you've got no storage under there. No, you've got a travel seat. You've got a travel seat, yeah. 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 But you suppose you're not worrying about bedding. I don't know, because this one's the one with the where you drop the bed down. Oh no, you were looking at the island bed. I'm looking sorry. at the island bed here. Yeah. You have a look. There we are. That looks nice. Oh, going the wrong way. You've got wardrobes either side. It does look nice. You do get some weird angles with this 360, don't you? You've got curtains in there, but it has got blinds on the thing. Yeah, or not all the other windows. All the has. other, apart from the cab windows. Yeah. TV point there. Yeah. Have you got cupboards above? No, it just looks like you've got that. Okay. That almost made me feel a bit giddy, that. <laughs> At least it doesn't spin round too fast. So that you've got the door just by the edge of the bed there, haven't you? Yeah. Okay. And a, a slidey thing to slide off the... It's just right on the bottom of the bed. 
Yeah. So, I mean, the big thing for you would be how long is that bed? Yeah, it? and how much room have you got there? And can you push the bed up? Could you ever get out of bed past that door again? <laughs> does it does that... look a bit tight, doesn't it? Yeah. I don't, I'd, I'd have to read the specs. This is why you, you really want to be in there, don't you? Yeah, you know? the little questions <laughs> like that. Yeah, fully adjustable, dry yeah, yeah. Flexi lounge uh, with a goatable travel seats. They do look a lot better than yeah, when they do than those when um, Eldis Eldis first brought ones, out those yeah. seats. I don't think I'd want to be in them for a long journey though. No. Uh, the tower fridge drop down. Uh, curtains there. Anyway, I mean, if you pause the video here, I'll, I can leave that on there. But yeah, yeah. Oh, they got a little oh, animated. A yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Those are what you can do with that table. Isn't yeah, I it? wouldn't want it doing that no, all the time. No, no, not got stuff <laughs> on it. I think it's electrically operated as well, isn't it? I it, think so. Yeah. Yeah. The front bit. Oh, you'd love to do that, <laughs> wouldn't you? Come on, no, that'd be fun. I'd have that picture pinned to the wall. Yeah, so that's right. <laughs> 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 this is how you make the front bed up. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so so yeah, that's definitely one we would want to go uh, and look at. Have a look at by. Uh, right, so uh, all the quest then. Yeah, so we now go on to the Irwin Heimer stand. Yeah. Um, the main thing here is there's additions to the compass range, yeah. right? Yeah. And if you were manufacturing a compass van and you've got two <laughs> new vans, yeah. What do you think would be a nice name to call them? Compass. Um, navigator. Navigator, yeah. <laughs> it probably took them <laughs> to take, ages to ages think, that up, to think of yeah. this one. So <laughs> they've now got two compass navigators, 105 and 120, yeah. to mirror the Eldis Accordo 105 and 120. So what are we looking at then? So is it on here? I, don't, I, 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 don't, I think we've looked at the Eldis version of them so many yeah. times. Yeah. So I've lost the vans now. Go back. I was looking at that van, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So what we got here? Pop top roof. Yeah. Right. CV80. So the new there's a new um, uh, van conversion. I yeah. suppose you call it, wouldn't you? Yeah. Um, and that's a CV80. CV must be camper van. Yeah, really? camper van. Yeah, it's obvious, yeah. really, isn't yeah. it? Um, so they've got the Eldis Auto Quest and the Compass Avant Garde yep. CV80. Okay. And it's their first raising roof camper van. Okay, so they've looked a little bit at the lights of Heimer, the um, Grand Canyon or whatever it was called, uh, with the rising roof. Yeah. And they thought, oh, get get a bit of that. Yeah. Yeah. So this one's got twin beds at the back, has it, or is that a sofa? That's a sofa. I sofa. Think it makes into a bed. Yeah. I mean, we've looked at these before, I and mean, there's the CV20, the CV40, the CV60 with yeah. existing ones. Yeah. So this is an addition to that, and they look very well made. They look very pleasant to be in. Yeah, quite light inside, yeah. I seem to remember. Yeah. Yeah, that's the washroom. And that's the great outdoors. Yeah. Harmonious. Hmm. And it goes on to the specification. Yeah. Okay. So that's quite interesting. Yeah. It's. I mean, it's a. It's a handsome looking thing, isn't it? Mm. With its little red stripe up there and. Yeah. No. We've we've been quite impressed with them, haven't yeah. we? Yeah. 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 So definitely would want to have a look at that. Any yeah. any standout features then? Not the raising roof. <laughs> raising roof. Okay. <laughs> so moving on. Moving on. Yeah. So then we go to the Swift stand. Yeah. Um. There's not much new to look at there. No. The only new van is an Edge 466 with bunk beds at the back. Okay. So, uh, go figure out where that is then. Mot oh, it's just that's just like a general motorhomes. Yeah. Right. Gotcha. Edge. So, edge. so you want there edge. we are. So read more. Okay. So the new one is a 466. 466. 466. No. Four, Right, so four six six or eight six. Have they got a picture of it on here then? 
there. Yeah. So this one here. This one here. So what's it got? Got um, bunk beds at the back. Okay. Oh yeah. And a twin dinette. So this yeah. is obviously aimed at families then. Yeah. It says from fifty one thousand six six five. Okay. Beat the price increase. There we are. So it's got a double dinette at the front. Yeah, with seat belts on all, all the seats because they they have make a thing, don't they, about having seat belts on all the seats. Yeah, yeah. I've never met a seat belt, a travel seat on a new van that hasn't got a seat belt yet. But there you go. <laughs> and then you have a pull down bed, don't you? So, oh, well, that's like a is that a pull? It's a yeah. drop down, is it? Yeah. It's a, okay. It's an over cab bed. Then okay. we looked at one at Todd's in a, in a different one in this range. Yeah. And that sort of pulls down, so that makes one of your double beds. So I presume that's a manual bed then? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it was a manual one, it seemed quite good. You could still sit in the seat, even yeah. with it. Yeah, it looks like it's over the cab as well, doesn't it? Yeah. So it comes yeah. about as far as there. I think it, you know, I think it came down, we did look at one yeah. in uh, Todd's, and I had a feeling it came just down on the, the seats. Okay. The dinette seats. So it looks a bit like a camper van at the back, doesn't it, there? Well, I don't think that is the, that's not the 466. Oh, is it not? Okay. No. This is There's just a picture like, of just oh. the whole sort of different oh, yeah. ones in the range. Why, why did they do that? I would like to see the picture of the you one. See, it's just the one we're looking at yeah. there, and then it doesn't yeah. seem to have any more pictures and of it. They've just got like random pictures everywhere, haven't they, then? Yeah, you, you've you've shown an interest in the four, you go down a bit, 466. So I thought and I might have seen the bunk bed when you... Yeah. Down. 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 There. Yeah. 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 Okay. So if you've got a drop down bed, you've got a make up bed, yeah. two beds at the back, six berth. Six berth, yeah. Yeah, okay. And it looks, looks quite nice with a side kitchen. And yeah. 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 It's a different way of doing it, isn't yeah. it? Rather than a yeah. drop down, another drop down bed. I mean, they did look built to a price, these things, I've got to be honest. Yeah. But. Uh, you know, six birth, fifty-one thousand, un mm. under th three thousand five hundred. The thing that springs to mind, of course, is payload. Yeah, yeah, six people. Six people, yeah. Yeah, I remember the cupboard doors are very light. Yeah, yeah, you can see that. Get two of them. One of those. Yeah. What's the thing they got in there? Some sort of bag, isn't it? So quite a small fridge there, isn't it? Mm, yeah, it is. Very small fridge actually. For six it? six people. Yeah. Yeah. That's and another, you, you're just cooking one pot meals there. <laughs> <laughs> it's only a three burner hob as well. Yeah, that's right. That's <laughs> obviously the the single bed. Yeah, version. single bed version. But there's quite a few models in this range. Yeah, now. but presumably they all get the three burner hob. Yeah, I think so. Plumbing, you don't have too much room there. Didn't no, you? that's that's the over cab, isn't it? That bit, that bit that? showing there, yeah. Oh, yeah, you wouldn't want to get up quick, would you? No, no I to be yeah. honest, I wouldn't want to sleep out there. Yeah, it's got window catches and a and a drawer for your gallery. Gallery, yeah. Okay. True, no, true okay. meeting. Yeah. All right, no, but it'd be interesting to have a look, wouldn't it? Yeah. So the only other thing um, that Swift have done is they've yeah. just done a few um, updates. Have done. Added alloy wheels to the Escape and the Escape Compact. Yeah, so these get alloys now. They get alloys And as that well. improves the look immensely. It does, it? Yeah, yeah, it does. Yeah. yeah. Um, and they also get windscreen blinds and a winter pack. So yeah. they've actually got windscreen blinds now. The Escape and the Escape Compact. Okay, alright, that's good. Yeah, and for the Kentucky Sports, yeah. you get an exterior shower, a barbecue point, and main socket. And a, and a woofing dog. Yeah. So moving on, we're on to the Adria next. Yeah. Um, there's no new models from Adria apparently, right. but the Matrix and the Coral range have been revamped in the Plus and Supreme spec. That's what we're looking at there. That's an inspired design. Okay. So not much to say then, really. So didn't you say they've got a new panoramic window? Yeah, yeah. It says the exterior profiles have been reworked. Okay. The sunroof at the front is 15% larger and the whole motorhome has been raised by 7 centimetres. Okay, so you've got more headroom, presumably, under the under the bed. Under the bed, yeah. Okay. Um, they've moved the water tank forward and the capacity has been increased to 115 litres. I saw that somewhere. Okay, yeah. 
Yeah. And they've also, the matrix gets yeah. a locker in front of the habitation so door. that's that that's there, there, isn't it? That's that there, so that's yeah. That's your new locker. Yeah, and that you put your hook up in there. It's got an exterior connection point, yeah. another space, enough space to keep your hook up cable. Okay, okay. So you can put everything in that little oh, cupboard. Right. Yeah, it looks a bit small for everything, but never mind. Well, it's supposed to be a hook up cable and... You know, well, if my hook up cable's that big, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> It'd be nice if you could take your hookup cable and see what yeah. it fit in the cupboard, yeah, wouldn't it, okay. really? Yeah. Just remember to do that <laughs> next time on a show. Yeah, so the, the other thing they yeah. say, they've redesigned the drop-down bed so that it fits more snugly Yeah, that's the what ceiling. I was looking at earlier, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah. yeah, and they also say they've added a new stereo system with ceiling speakers. Okay. They're uh, hidden, aren't they, yeah, didn't you say? Yeah, hidden. I don't know where they're hidden. Well, you can't see them because they're <laughs> hidden. <laughs> and a subwoofer. Right, okay. So that sounds like it's quite good. Well, if you know, hopefully a subwoofer yeah. makes quite a difference, doesn't it? Yeah, so that's... They've added a new one to the compact range with an island bed, and they, they've, they've also got a raising roof camper. <laughs> Ooh, oh, blimey. So the one they've added to the compact range is the SC. So that's that one there, that so one that's there. the island bed. The island bed one, yeah. Okay. And do you want a virtual tour? So let's have a look around. So give me a... Oh, it's just to grab it and swizz it round. So this is the compact one. So the compact is the narrower across the... Mm. Width wise. Yeah. It's a nice door. I always I like those Adrio hogs, you know, they're all in one line. Well they're at they? the back, aren't they? And it gives yeah. you this extra bit of space yeah, I there. I think that's one of their nicer features. Yeah. it's I mean it's not a huge kitchen. No. But because you, it because they're in a line, yeah. You get that bit there. Yeah. I think there's normally just three of them, but... Uh, yeah, three like... three is probably enough. I, mean, I know yeah. I was taking the mickey out of the uh, Swift Edge for only having three, but... Often you only use two. Yeah. Yeah, so this has got travel seats. Yeah. And it's got one of these massive... Massive <laughs> tables, yeah. Massive tables with a bit... If it wasn't big enough... <laughs> <laughs> another bit. You've got another bit to uh, wrestle with. Yeah, well, that's for the people over in this side, isn't it? Yeah, so you can you probably fit. Is there another seat here? No, no there isn't. No, okay. there isn't, no. Cause so what do you need you're that right great in, big... You're right in the footwell there. Yeah, I suppose that slides out for the driver's yeah, side seat. Yeah, Okay. That's a sort of a bit of a camper van front, really, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, very much so. And then you go an up island, into there. island bed. So you've got yeah. a camper van at the front and... Uh, an island bed at the back. Grand Frontier at the back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can you get in there? No, it's no. just a whiz around, isn't it? Yeah. So that it. looks quite nice. I don't know how to get out of here now. I'll go back to there. Okay. Okay, and so the only other thing I spotted was they launched a raising roof camper called the Twin Sport last year. That's probably under vans. Oh yeah. Twin sport. Twin sports. Sports. Sorry, I only got missed the S. I missed the S. Yeah, they're in fact. For there raising, it is. Yeah, yeah, raising roof. It's quite nice because it's also they've, well they've got an awning on it as well. Yeah, yeah. A couple of chairs. Yeah. No, it does look appealing, yeah. doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it does look nice. Lift the roof for new adventures. So it's a transverse bed at the back. Yeah kitchen and a bathroom opposite each other yeah. and then the usual front bit front bit yeah yeah like the like the fry fly fry screen fly screen, screen. yeah 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 and you've got like a that's interesting isn't that that bit there leaves this bit presumably for like air conditioning or something yeah but that's quite nice you could be sitting up there and watching the sunset or something aren't you? yeah protected from the midges yeah I presume it doesn't stay open. Yeah. Oh, that's quite nice, that. Yeah, I'd really like to have a look at that, but... Not yeah. going up there. You're, you're not going up there. No, you're not doing, <laughs> <laughs> doing the ladder. Yeah. I mean, obviously, you can have a look at all of these on the website, yeah. so... Uh, yeah, I mean, another thing just to notice is yeah. that... Uh, they call it a bathroom, would you believe? Yeah. It's got a swivel wall feature for a separate shower. Okay. 
I think we noticed that in some of the motomes, didn't we? Yeah. They adopted yeah. that idea, yeah. which is it's, it's, really it's, clever. It's a brilliant yeah. idea. For yeah. a small bathroom. Yeah. 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 Well, it, I mean, to me, bathrooms are nice as long as you've got enough room to change in and do the things that you, you need, need to, to do, do. In, a, in a washroom. Yeah. So if yeah. it gives you that much more room in there, then no, it's a brilliant idea. Put your bikes in there. Yeah, no, I like that. Mm. You wouldn't like getting up there, but you, no. can, you can sleep downstairs. Yeah, you can pop in and go up there. Yeah. Okay. Right, okay then. So yep. the other one I think we'd want to go the look at, because we always do, is the Pilo stand. Yeah, we like Pilo. And it's this one, isn't it? This is the new... Yeah, they've got a new one, um, six point... Well, it's apparently they claim that uh, the P696D is, is has a large washroom. Yeah. And uh, it's been very popular. It's 6.9 metres long. Yeah. So they've now added a new addition, and that's the P626D D, yeah. with an optional double. Okay, okay. So I presume before that the sofa's... Made just up. pulled out so and to make a bed. So it's got a drop down as well. It's got a drop down as, as well. As you can see there, a little load of lights on it. Yeah. We have been impressed, haven't we? We've yeah. gone in these. Yeah. We like the look and feel of them, don't yeah, we? Yeah, I think we did like the last February show we went yeah. in a couple. Yeah. Yeah, always got a nice kitchen. Yeah, they're 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 well laid out and well presented but without being too like showy. Yeah. Be would, too glitzy and yeah they always use sort of light wood which makes yeah. them seem spacious inside yeah yeah and so that's bedroom but it becomes a bedroom when it's not a lounge <laughs> 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 and they call it a bathroom so yes <laughs> and that's outside so you yeah. see that's sort of what outside looks like <laughs> oh, does it? Oh, yeah, hills and water yeah. and sky yeah the motor on the road yeah <laughs> yeah yeah. yeah, so there's all sorts of details about it. Yeah, so it's 2.3 metres wide and 6.2 metres long. And it's licence friendly again. Payload's good, 696. Yeah. I think we could probably spend a lot more time looking at this, you mm, know. Mm. Yeah, so. So that's that. So. The other sort of new things are La Voyager are celebrating their 40th anniversary. Right. So they've got a special anniversary edition of the, uh, bear with me, 7.8, 8.5 CF and G, JF models. And they've put some leather upholstery in it and a gift pack. Right. Because they're 40 years old. Okay. McGluey Fusion, which are part of Auto Sleeper, aren't yeah, they? Yeah. Um, they've got a new 330, 6.6 .6 metre long rear lounge and two drop down beds. Right. That sounds you know, like one of your like, favourite layouts. Much I like <laughs> drop down beds. <laughs> <laughs> now we've come to the ones that haven't been able to do much, and that's Benemar. Yeah. Um, due to the lock down in Spain. Spain. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I've only made my, minor cosmetic changes to their three ranges, and they yeah. are the Primero, the Milio, have I got that oh, right? My game, yeah, good. Yeah, and the Tessaro. Yeah. We've looked at... Or oh, the Tessaro. <laughs> yeah, something like that. We've looked at them, haven't we? Because yeah. there's a lot of layouts in, in each range. I mean, like, yeah. the Tessaro, yeah. I'm going to call it, yeah. has got eight low profiles, right. all with four berths with four transit cabs. So there's always a lot of Benemars yeah. to look at. Yeah, there's always a lot of layouts, I think, aren't yeah. there? Yeah, yeah. And uh, likewise, Mo Mobilet... Mo Mobiletta? Mobile Vetta. Vetta. Yeah. yeah, have had limited ch changes because of the Italian lockdown. Right. So their two main fans are the A Class K yacht, which we've looked at yeah. before, haven't we? Yeah. And the Key K E. I think it's just Key or K. Yeah, K yeah. P yeah. range. Yeah. And we we have filmed those at shows before, so I don't yeah. think they'd be much different from what we've no. looked no. at before. Yeah, so yeah. so is that it? That's what we'd like to go and look at. Now, yeah. because we can't physically go to a show, right. we are going to look at the practical motorhome show. Virtual show. Practical motorhome no. virtual show. Yeah, it's practical caravan and motorhome virtual show, I think yeah. it is, yeah. Yeah, from the... I'll, I'll probably put something at the bottom here when I know what it's <laughs> actually called, yeah. 
Yeah, and it's from the 22nd to the 28th of February. So that's, so that's, that's this, this coming week. Monday, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. so yeah. it's the same time yeah. that we would be going to the um, right. caravan camping and motor show at the NEC. Okay. So that the, the first vans that we mentioned, all the British ones, going from Auto Sleeper down to Swift. You've got actually hall numbers. Yeah, I've got hall numbers. <laughs> because I, I would do that normally. Which yeah. hall are they in? Yeah. So you've got like Auto Sleepers are in hall one, and yeah, all, all the ones I've, we've yeah, mentioned we've at the beginning about. down to Swift are all, all in hall, hall one. Yeah. With some van, British van conversions. Yeah. Yeah. Um, in hall two, we, we've got Adria, Pilo, La Voyager. Yeah. Uh, Mike McLeary, Ben Amart and Mobile Vetter and Continental vans. Okay, okay. Then moving on from that, we've got in Hall 3, yeah. we've got a load of dealer stands. Um, anybody from Marquis down to White Arches, okay. people like that. Okay. So not quite so, sure how that's going to work. So they'd have a range of different vans on yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I mean, you take, for example, um, Glossip, just to top of my yeah. head, they've got Eldis and Swift. Yeah. So, okay. you know, like like you'd find at the show, don't you? That yeah. you go to the Swift area and then you've got Glossip okay. there or, or someone okay. else there. Yeah. So that'd be quite interesting how they managed to do that. Yeah. yeah. And then in Hill, Hull, Hill, Hall 4, we've got accessories. Yeah. And if you look in the Practical Motorhome magazine, yeah. Um, on page 71, it lists a load of retailers with like. A sample of their product. Does it, it, take, does it take you to their website? Yeah, it? it takes you to their website, like okay. Toshore or people like yeah. that. And then they've got a whole area about awnings, um, yeah. Outdoor Revolution, Outworld Camper, yeah. Isabella, who unfortunately can't get their new driveways available till 2022. No? I didn't know they were doing a driveway, but apparently <laughs> they are. That's Isabella? Yeah. Okay, well, that'd only be something the, to look at, The it? permanent ones, well, you can't, because it's not available till 2022 anyway. That's a disappointment. <laughs> so we might have been <laughs> On disappointed. that massive disappointment. Yeah, Van Gogh are there. Yeah. Then there's a whole haul on this virtual show for campsites. Oh, right. And there's a whole list of different campsites. And the one I know I picked out was Granton on Spay, okay. Okay. which we like. Um, that's page 74 to 76 in the magazine. Yeah. And then they've got a hall that's called Everything Else. I right. think everything that won't fit in anywhere else is, is in, in there, there okay. including the up latest updates from the Caravan and Motown Club and the Camping and Caravaning Club. Okay. Well, that sounds a bit more um, um, interesting. It than does sound very interesting, yeah. yeah. I was just wondering what people thought of the Swift Live, you know, the, yeah. uh, the virtual show. that they. I think it's still on at the moment as we're filming. But uh, I just wonder what you thought of it. I just thought it was a little bit like a glorified website. Well, it's probably because it's just Swift doing it, wasn't it? This, yeah, yeah. The, this uh, must be quite a challenge to do. Cause to it's to all bring them all together, I suppose. Yeah, and yeah. showcase the new vans and, yeah. and things like that. So it'd be interesting what yeah. it's like. Yeah, so if you've watched this... Oh, going to get me time scales right here. If you've watched this video after you've watched uh, the the... Practical Caravan and Motown virtual show. <laughs> <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong here. Let us know what you think. I'd be yeah. interested to know what your thoughts are. I mean, hopefully, this is maybe the last year you'll see these virtual shows, and mm. hopefully next year we'll all be uh, be able to meet up and have a proper look round some real physical motones. Yeah. So I hope you found this interesting. Jenny's done an awful lot of research on this. Probably more than I would do normally, because yeah. normally I'd just make a list. We'd yeah. go to the show and it'd have all the bumps there and we'd be looking round. Yeah. This time I thought, well, we really need to know what we're looking at. So, yeah. you know, I found the websites and yeah. everything. So, yeah, yeah, I've enjoyed doing it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, as long as it keeps you <laughs> quiet and keeps you out of trouble. I enjoyed it. It's got to be better than decorating, isn't it? Well, yeah, it gets me out to do it. painting the ceiling or something. <laughs> you painting the ceiling? You won't be able to reach it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I need one of those ladders. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Oh, dear. Yeah, okay then. So, on that thought, <laughs> yeah. uh, if you enjoyed the video, um, uh, and you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe, it helps the channel and hit that notifications icon and you'll get an update when we do lives and uh, we, uh, we do videos that are not at a normal <laughs> time or any no. special things that are going on. No. And uh, that's it. That's it. Yeah. Well, yeah, I've run out of things to say. I know, you have at last. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bye then. Yeah, we'll see you soon. Bye, Bye then. then.